heritage comes South American, uh, particularly uh, Peruvian. I would love to, you know, maybe eventually become uh, a White House correspondent. I grew up with politics. I grew up in a really liberal household, very Democrat. Um, and so that's, you know, I'm the type of person that watches CNN when, you know, Robert Gibbs would come on and give his daily press conferences. So um, I would love to be able to get to that position one day. This past October, I actually got to meet and shake Barack Obama's hand uh, when he came here for a rally with uh, then uh, Governor-elect Kitz Hopper. Um, and so it was just a really random occurrence. I don't know how I got to the front of the stage, but um, right when he came down right off the stage, I was one of the first people I got to shake hands with. Uh, he's not as tall as I thought he was in person, but he's very much skinnier and he's aged a little bit. <laughs> and my favorite thing about campus is really just getting to know different students. I mean, coming from such a pretty small, condensed, predominantly Caucasian town, I didn't really get to experience a lot of diversity other than with my South American grandparents and my parents. Um, so I didn't really have that cultural conditioning. And so to come here and then, you know, surround myself with, you know, at least 10 different cultures on a daily basis is just really something I was always interested and passionate and driven to explore. So we have people, you know, that are older trying to come back and learn different things and, you know, continue their education. Or, you know, just this past year, we had a 13 year old come to Portland State. She was like a musical prodigy. Um, so in that sense, we're really a really well-shaped community. Um, and that for me was really what I wanted to connect with and um, I fit in, in in the role of a student. My name is Natalie Castros and I belong at PSU.